Well, how's it going there, guys? It's John Q here from PhoneDog.com, and I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and a wonderful Monday thus far. Welcome to Weekly Bone. Something, something about phone dog news and rounding up stuff and something about editors. So sit back, relax, and get ready for, like, something or something. Yeah. According to rumors, apparently the iPhone 5 won't be making an appearance at Apple's next WWDC. WWDC, of course, standing for their Worldwide Developers Conference, or for those of you who like things a little fun, the Wild Wendy's Developers Collection, or even the Worldwide Wendy's Department Cotton Candy. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> now that's just being silly. No real word on why there is a delay, but some might think that it has to do with Verizon's, you know, 4G LTE thing, but we'll just have to see. Something that does look like it's going to be revealed at the WoW Wild Drivers Club would be iOS 5. Stay tuned for that. Speaking of iOS, iOS 4.3.1. Wow, I love periods in between numbers. Recently went live, and you can update your devices via iTunes. Nothing really too fancy, just a couple of bug fixes, but hey, people like to stay updated on things like this, you know? Mm. While we're talking about firmwares, the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 is gonna be getting gingerbread later on this year. Now I know what you're thinking. Sony Ericsson? When did they make Android phones? <laughs> I know, who, where, who, when? No, I'm just kidding. But you know, with HTC making brand new Android phones, you know, every other day, it's easy to forget. Especially with Apple's www.com thing just around the corner. So excited! Touch my face! You know what else is exciting? Hands-on stuff. Aaron, or Heron, <laughs> so clever, was at CTIA and he got to check out a bunch of stuff. One of the things he got to see was the T-Mobile G Slate, a new Android tablet with 3D capabilities, including a 3D camera at the back. Really, really cool stuff, actually. Oh my goodness. Pens, and they're lined up oh so very neatly. <clears throat> and the graphics look really, really good on that thing. As you can see, it demonstrating G maps and some sort of Vroom Vroom game. Aaron got a chance to check out another 3D device, the HTC Evo 3D. And he wrote a nifty first impressions article coupled with a bunch of pretty pictures. In between all of these CTIA madness, he managed to release an epic dogfight between the iPad 2 and the Motorola Zoom. I'm telling you guys, that guy, that guy is magical. He's like part tech reviewer, part part hair, and, and part Harry Potter. It's crazy. So that concludes our episode of WB. Don't forget we have a colossal iPad 2 and smartphone sweepstakes going on right now. The link to that and everything else I kind of talked about today can be found in the fla 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 aka description box down there. Hopefully you guys like this video. This was John Q from PhoneDog.com and I'm going to sign up with Aaron's epic Android dance coupled with some techno music I threw in there. You know, just for fun. Cool? Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!